Infrastructure investment is much needed more than ever before. The OECD estimates that there's about $71 trillion in assets that's required by 2030. That's 12 years of sizable chunks of money that needs to go into this asset class. It certainly not helped this task uh, by the nationalistic agenda and partisan pressures that are coming through in developed and developing markets. Um, of course, the G20 guidelines under the Argentine presidency is helping to shape the global agenda and setting the trends. However, we're seeing even projects like the A1 uh, Hamburg and Bremen expansion in Germany, where we are today, as a uh, difficult situation for many investors who are piling in tons of money in greenfield and brownfield assets. Um, perhaps one way of thinking about this is that risk transfer is actually happening. It's moving from the private sector, the pub from the public sector to the private sector, which is a good thing. But it does show that there are many more battles to fight in infrastructure investment. My belief is that infrastructure investment is here to stay. It reaches the parts that other asset classes will never reach. And for that reason, we will be here talking about infrastructure for a long time to come.